द सॉलिटरी वुड्समैन बाय सर चार्ल्स जी डी रॉबर्ट्स इट इज अ फेमस पोयम एंड इट इज अ ब्यूटिफुल पोयम इट इज पब्लिश इन एटीन नाइंटी एट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थर्टीन स्टैंड ईच कंटेन फोर लाइन टोटली फिफ्टी टू लाइन सो विल सी द लाइन बै लाइन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस पोयम When the grey lake water rushes past the dripping altar bushes and the boatful atom wind in the fir tree weeps and hushes so here the poet is explaining the season of the atom during atom the wind blows and we can see the lake of become very very grey in color so in that grey lake water the water rushes and it is passed by the dripping altar bushes from the altar bushes trees so the snow melts and it is dripping down in the lake or so it rushes along with that water drops and the boatful atom wind in the fir tree weeps and hushes so from the bo- because of that atom wind in the fir tree it weeps like it weeps and hushes because of that atom wind the fir tree what it uh, gives uh, some the drop dew drops as well as it gives a hushes sound so here we can see how the snow melt from the altar bushes trees and we can see how the wind blows while the wind blows from the fir tree it weeps and hushes it gives a sound of weeps and hushing sound so in this paragraph the poet is explaining how the plant art looks like during the atom season and because of the atom season so here we can see the altar bushes trees so it is a altar bushes trees so how it looks it is a full of bush in nature and the fir tree fir tree is nothing but which is look like a christmas tree and from that tree the we can see the fruit also so the when the wind blows no in between the leaves it gives a hushing sound it gives the hushing sound the second paragraph when the air is sharply damp round the solitary camp and the moose bush in the thicket glimmers like a scarlet lamp so solitary camp is nothing but that is a lonely camp so because of the atom wind the air is sharply damp it is nothing but the air it's also become so wet because of the wet uh, around the solitary camp it all becomes a wet in nature so it is it looks like a wet and here we can see another creature that is a moose that is a moose behind the bush behind the bush as we all know bush moose is nothing but a deer it is a one of the family in a deer that is a species of the deer so around the moose bush in the thicket so uh, so here we can see the moose so moose it's standing behind the bushes it is standing behind the bushes how it looks it is look like a it is looking like a glimmers like a scarlet lamp so the moose is standing behind the bush so it is standing behind the bush so um, when we see the animals which is standing behind the bush uh, here and there we can see the like a drops we can see isn't it so the same way uh, that moose is very very brownish in, that is a reddish as well as a brownish in color and it is looking like how that is a glimmers like a scarlet lamp glimmers is nothing but a fire uh, the spark from the fire so when the fire uh, when we uh, fire the wood from that the sparkle comes isn't it so how it looks it is like a scarlet lamp the same way the moose is also looking so here the poet is uh, comparing the moose and so here we can see how the 
glimmers like a scarlet lamp so glimmers is also is like a scarlet lamp scarlet lamp scarlet is nothing but a red color lamp and then next stanza when the birches twinkle yellow and the kernel bunches mellow and the owl across the twilight trumpets to his downy fellow when the birches twinkle yellow so before the autumn season before the autumn season the birch tree looks like a somewhat greenish in color but before autumn season during autumn season that birches becomes a twinkle yellow it it is it looks like a yellow in color when we see the star twinkles now during that time we can see the yellowish color so now the in during the autumn season the birches look like a yellow and the birch trees are all very tall one and it is all like a twinkle yellow in color and the kernel bunches mellow and we can see the kernel fruit that is a kernel kernel is nothing but a cherry like fruits which is in a red in color so it is like a bunches and mellow during autumn season that fruit is like a mellow mellow means it is ready to eat which is a ripe one which is so sweet in nature and the owl across the twilight so during that time during a twilight time during the sunset time in between the evening as well as the night so we can see the sunset time during that time it is called as twilight during that time twilight owl across so owl crosses and gives a trumpet sound it gives a trumpet sound to whom to his downy fellow to his downy fellow to his downy fellow is nothing but to his mate to his mate so he is calling his mate the owl is giving a trumpet sound to his downy fellow to his downing fellow is nothing but a mate to his mate it gives a trumpet sound and we can see the owl in which time during the twilight time in the next stanza that is when the nut fed chipmunks roam through the maple crimson palm and the slim viburnum flushes in the darkness of the swamp when the nut fed chipmunks roam chipmunks is nothing but a, a type of a squirrel which is living in the forest so it it what it feed himself with the nut after eating the nut where it goes through the maples crimson palm it goes to the maples crimson palm maples is nothing but a it is a type of a tree so the squirrel is eating the nut after eating the nut it is slowly climbing on the tree the tree is nothing but a maple crimson palm maples is the type of a tree which is look like a palm crimson palm crimson is nothing but red in color so here we can see the maple tree so see how the maple tree is look like a red in nature that is a crimson color with a palm so here and there it is look like a what palm that maple tree and and the slim and the slim viburnum flushes in the darkness of the swamp so and the slim viburnum flushes viburnum is nothing but a plant is nothing but a flower which is white in color the viburnum flower is a white in color this is a viburnum flower here you can see the picture of that flower it flushes because of the atom wind it flushes it gives a sudden flying and it goes and it is dropping on the earth that is in the darkness of the swamp swamp is nothing but the a piece of wetland that flower is dripping from it is dropping from the tree and it is spreaded on the earth the earth is looking like a darkness of the swamp that is a wetland when we see the wetland it looks like a dark in nature isn't it so in dark space that is in a dark place when the white color flower drops means how it looks it looks beautiful yes it is very very looking beautiful in the 
swamp swamp is nothing but a wetland there we can see the viburnum flowers drops so it is it gives a beautiful nature and next stanza when the blue berries are dead when the rowan clusters red and the shy bird summer slicken in the bracken makes his bed so during before the autumn season the blue berries look very ripe one it looks very ripe and it looks like a very sweet but because of the autumn wind it all becomes dead so here the poet is telling when the bloom berries are dead so during the autumn season the blue berries are dead when the bloom berries are dead when the rowan clusters red see the oxymoron the negative as well as a positive one so when the blue berries are dead here the blue berries are dead the blue berries are dead that is that fruit as dead when the rowan clusters red so during that time so this is a rowan plant before autumn season the rowan plant looks like very very green in nature but after autumn season uh, sorry after that season during the autumn season what happened that rowan plant all becomes very cluster red cluster red means in the plant we can see here and there in a group cluster red in color in a group group red in color it is nothing but a fruits when the fruits ripe all the leaves may drop from the tree so now during that time what when the rowan clusters are red so only we can see the red color fruits here and there on that plant so here we can see how the fruit grown very very in nature during that time and the shy bear summer slicken in the bracken makes his bed the bear the bear what it goes and then eat with that a bracken it makes a bed and it goes there and it it used to sleep in the bracken and the next stanza on a day there comes once more to the latched and lonely door down the wood road striding silent one who has been here before so here the poet is telling that on a day there comes once more so on a day one day there comes one once more someone or something is coming again once more someone is coming where to the latched and the lonely door where in that to the camp it is latched and it is a lonely door there comes once a mo once more a person down the wood road striding silent wood road is nothing but a forest in that forest we can see the striding striding is nothing but the distance covered by a step so one who has been here before one who had lived before this came again if you like this video of explanation kindly subscribe my channel and give your support to me and click the bell icon to have a few more kindly see the description box and click for the part 2 of explanation thank you